On your hot topic today with PubSportsRadio.com, we're choosing winners and losers on sports coming back. Hey guys, Donnie Seymour here with PubSportsRadio.com. We're going to choose winners and losers today on our Hot Topics video with sports that are coming back. Let's take a look at the good. The UFC moving to Florida. Prelims and pay-per-views went off without a hitch and gave wonderful performances for the fan bases. If we take a look at also another league, Bundesliga. If you like soccer, I don't personally like soccer, but watching it on TV, you're getting the same type of environment minus the fans. You're getting a pure sporting event. Looks like they've done it really well if we take a look at Korean baseball again not my cup of tea but they're playing actual baseball and playing it competitively again only minus the fans if we take a look at NASCAR yesterday that was at Darlington wonderful display NASCAR again not my thing but if you are a NASCAR fan you like to bet NASCAR you're right just sit back on Sunday crack a few beers open and watch the races it was a great performance because it wasn't out of bounds again only outside the fans, but the rest of the performance for NASCAR was done very well. The WWE, even if you like wrestling, went off with WrestleMania. We see each and every night, SmackDown and Raw. They're all going off because there aren't any fans there, but you're still getting the natural wrestling that you're used to watching, just minus the fans. And also, if you take a look at horse racing, you don't need any fans in the stands for horse racing. Horse racing has been going off for at least the last two months, and more tracks will be adding daily. They are the winners here in this environment. But there's also some huge losers that are coming in. And if we take a look first, the NBA, when they tried to put on their horse with WNBA players we've never heard of and pros filming from home, some in backyard, some in gym, some filming on a potato, some filming in HD. What a terrible performance. And also, if you go back to last year, when we look at Tiger Phil, round one out in Las Vegas, trash talking, a lot of fun. It was a terrible event that ended up crashing on pay-per-view. Now they're going to double down the PGA Tour and let Tiger and Phil go at it with two quarterbacks in the NFL that are retired. Well, not retired. I should say Tom, Tom Brady going down to Tampa Bay. But then you're taking a look at Peyton Manning playing that. Come on. It's a terrible event. And if you take a look yesterday, if you were watching with the PGA Tour, at least PGA Tour players, we had the Taylor made Relief Golf Challenge or Golf Drive, whatever they called it. I would have actually been more impressed if it was a long drive tournament than four guys not talking any trash interviews from I don't know, look like Bill Cosby and you know Donald Trump and Bill Murray out there we can do without that stuff we'll wait until it comes back sports that are out of their environment where you're not used to watching I want to watch an NBA product I don't want to watch horse in somebody's basement versus a WNBA player when I want to watch golf I want to watch the Masters I want to watch the PGA Tour I want to watch the best go at it not just two random guys out here. I shouldn't say random guys, Tiger and Phil, two pretty big superstars, but guys just going back and forth. I want to see them in their element. And again, getting back to yesterday, Taylor Relief. And also, you know, NASCAR had a trouble before putting on the race at Darlington, which was great yesterday. But the iRacing even got somebody kicked out for being a racist. They're not used to that environment. Don't put these stars and athletes in that environment and expect them to shine. But we're getting so close to getting back to sports. Some winners and losers from opening up in sports. It's pretty clear to see. We're going to keep on going with these hot topics until sports hit the gridiron. I'm Donnie Seymour for PubSportsRadio.com.